following demonstration, we're going to explore how we can bring in shapefile information, which is generally an export from GIS software, and attach it as a reference file to a MicroStation DGN file. And then we're going to be able to actually merge that into the DGN file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our reference file dialog box. I'm going to go to my attach reference. At the bottom of this dialog box, you see where it says files of type. Well, currently it's looking for DGN, DWG, or DXF. There's a host of different formats that we support, one of them that being shapefiles, or .shp. So I'm going to select this. I see listed my shapefile. I select it. I click Open. I get the Reference Attach Settings dialog box. I'm just going to go with the defaults except for Coincidence World. Make sure I select that because I want it to come in coordinate correct. I'm going to click OK. The file is attached. You see it listed there. If I go to my element information and I select one of the elements that are coming from the shape file, you can see I get the extended metadata displayed here along with other information, general geometry, extended things. Here it's grayed out because it is a reference file, but once I merge it, I would actually be able to edit this information. So I'm going to go ahead and close the element information. I'm going to select this in my reference file dialog box. I can just right click on it. I get all my reference options including merge into master. I'm going to select that. It is asking me on my status bar to select view to merge. I'm going to do a, a data left click in this view. I get the dialog box it says you've selected one reference file to merge. I'm going to click OK. That merges it into my active file and detaches it as a reference file. Now if I go to my element information I select that same line. The same information comes across and now I can actually make edits to it. So if I wanted to change the direction I could go actually and physically edit that. So now it's actually part of my DGN file. So that's how you do it.